Hello guys. You are on the channel Alice Reddit Stories. Enjoy watching. TLDR, my marriage has been not great for me for a long time. I accused her of cheating, which kind of shocked her into putting in a lot more effort. She's turned it around, but I my doubts and resentment are inhibiting me from fully loving my wife. My long story below. My wife and I had been suffering from a semi-dead bedroom for a long time. When we had sex, it was okay. But then we would go weeks without sex. Often it was only one or two times a month. I would get turned down often. We had many, many talks, some of them very emotional about it. She would promise to change, and things would get better for a while, but then things would go right back to where they were. But it wasn't just sex that was missing. It was intimacy. I distinctly remember getting a haircut in Japan, and the woman did a quick scalp massage afterwards. I remember being surprised by how nice it felt to be touched like that. Then I realized that I hadn't been touched like that by my wife in a long time. She always said it was because she was just so stressed out all the time between working and the kids. So I tried to take as much off her plate as I could. I started doing all the dinners and grocery shopping. I became the primary driver of the kids to sports, etc. Nothing changed. Then I started seeing the signs. She was distant, low affection, pet kisses, low interest in family, more interest in how she looked, putting on makeup more, working late. She is a teacher, suddenly stopped wanting to receive oral sex. Then I noticed weird signs. She changed the passcode on her phone. I discovered it when I picked it up for something random. We share everything, so it wasn't unusual to use each other's phones. She gave me the password right away, and said she changed it because the kids figured it out. But it was just weird, you know? And she didn't enable her car to read her texts out loud, which is something she always liked about my car before she got the new one. But what really bothered me was her absolute lack of effort for big events. Mother's days were elaborate. Homemade poached eggs and strawberry waffles in bed. Picnics to every botanical garden within 100 miles of our home. Father's days were meh. On our 20th anniversary, I surprised her with a trip to Paris and a diamond necklace. I started planning and saving for it the day after our 10th anniversary. I worked with her boss to schedule her time off and ensure she had a substitute. A week before our 20th, she said she still didn't know what she was going to get me, ugh. She did almost nothing for my retirement after 25 years in the military. I became convinced she was cheating on me. And once I got that in my head, it just wouldn't leave. I kept it to myself, but I was slowly dying inside. One day she had to work on Saturday, new parents. She got all made up. Then, she called me from work and told me she was going to meet an old girlfriend for lunch afterwards. I drove to the restaurant and camped out, and then she came out, with the girlfriend. She didn't see me, but I was ashamed for having doubted her. But I still felt like something wasn't right. I got to go to Hawaii for a work trip and we decided to make a mini vacation out of it. I figured that this was our chance to reconnect, away from the stress of our daily lives. After the second time she turned me down for sex, I finally lost my temper. I blurted out, are you having an affair? She appeared shocked, then she cried. But she swore up and down no. When we got back, she went to IC. I thought that was weird, 
since I finally agreed to MC, but she said that she needed IC first. Almost immediately, everything changed. She became crazy intimate and crazy sexual. And it didn't seem forced. She touched my arm at dinner one night, and I was amazed at how nonchalantly flirty it was. I was like, where has this been for the last 10 years? I thought it may be the Zoloft she had started taking, but it turns out that Zoloft actually reduces libido. It honestly felt like she was love bombing. It felt like to me that she had been caught and was trying to fix things. One other thing I would like to mention. One day a couple of years ago, my wife mentions that she rode with a hey guy he parent, we'll call him B, to one of the field trips. She works in a private school, so they rely on parent volunteers for field trips. She talks about how nice the guy is and how she thinks he and I would get along, tell her that I am uncomfortable with her driving with male parents, and I ask her to avoid doing so if possible. She agreed. One of her co-workers was once really aggressive in trying to have an affair with me, and I built real barriers to limit our interaction. I would never tell my wife, but I was really tempted by the co-worker. My wife felt it was fair for her to do the same thing. A year later, we are at a school picnic, and she introduces me to this same guy B and his wife S. Over the last year, our daughters had become best friends. But, the energy was just weird. He was really awkward towards me, which I felt was odd since we both had military backgrounds. But he seemed comfortable talking to my wife. And my wife, who is pretty shy, seemed comfortable talking to him. Big red flag for me, then I find out he was a firefighter, my wife has a thing for firefighters. Then I find out, from my daughter, that his station is literally within walking distance of my house. Alarms are going off big time. Again, no personal emails. No texts. One to two emails about schoolwork. I remain silent but vigilant. One day when S and B's daughter is being dropped off at my house for a playdate, I spy through our ring doorbell the interaction between B and my wife. How crazy is that? I wanted to see how they interacted when I wasn't around. Nothing weird. He actually didn't even get on the porch. But then again, it's obvious we have a ring, see how my mind is spinning? Then this year, B and S withdraw their daughter from the school. Awesome, I think. Now my wife has absolutely no reason to see him at all. Then my mom asks my wife to start a Girl Scout troop. My wife tells me, she is going to ask S to help since S and B are experienced campers. The thought of B being on a camping trip with my wife is just something I can't stand later, after a good day, and after everything blows up and is getting better, I tell her my concerns and ask her to cut them out of our life. She has asked me to cut out a few ex-girlfriends that I had remained friends with, and I did it willingly. I felt it was fair for me to ask the same thing, I must say, I was a bit disappointed in her response. She said it felt like I didn't trust her. And she was sad to cut out two of the only parents that supported her in her first year at that school. I guess I was hoping she would say, sure honey. A couple of days later, she agreed to do it, but I relented, mostly because I didn't want my daughter to lose her best friend. My wife now tells me every time she sees B, due to their son still being at my wife's school, but not in her class. My wife has refused to drop off my daughter at their house and instead sends me. So I guess it's okay. But I still remember the weird energy my wife and B had at that school picnic. 
and I am resentful that that energy wasn't being directed at me at a time when it was missing in our relationship. She has continued to swear up and down that there has never been anyone else. She even had me go to a session with her therapist so that I could maybe understand why she had been so closed off. And I have found nothing. I consider myself pretty tech savvy, but I have found nothing suspicious. No text messages, no weird phone records, no emails, no weird locations, nothing. But she is a pretty smart girl too, so I'm unsure what this proves. The fact remains that I feel like she cheated on me. I feel it in my core and it is killing me. The attention now is great, but I am so resentful and it is growing. We attended my buddy's military retirement last week, and his wife did so much for him. It really triggered all those negative feelings I had from before. I'm just so hurt and angry, and I can't come to grips with the fact that I won't ever really know for sure. To be honest, she told me that she feels like she is suffering from having to regain my trust, even though she never cheated. I just can't go on like this. I feel like I deserved better, and I'm disappointed in myself for putting up with so much for so long. I had made up my mind to leave after the Hawaii incident, but didn't tell her. Seeing the work she has put in made me stay. But now I don't know if it's enough. Or maybe it's too little, too late. But it would also be ridiculous for me to split up our family over actions she did over the last decade when she is making so much of an effort now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. There are many interesting stories ahead of you.